What's up guys? Welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today's test drive is this 1971 Chevrolet Chevelle Convertible. 383 crate motor. We got paperwork on it in the car. You can see all the upgraded tools in the front. Aluminum radiator, electric fans, be cool. Power brakes. This thing's got it going. It's gonna be a pretty good test drive, so uh, stick around for that. I'll be pointing out the flaws for you. There's detailed pictures, financing and shipping at maplemotors.com. And of course, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and share this video. For now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Oh, I didn't mention five speed. And fuel injection. Of course, before we take off, we'll look around the interior and check everything out. Place those bets. Do you think the horn works? Yes, this one does have the Holly Sniper fuel injection kit. And check this out. We've got a little bit of information on the car. Lots of paperwork there. We'll keep that with the car, obviously. What I want to do is keep it in the floor, too, because we're going to be dropping the top here in just a moment. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll get her started, too. Easy to start because of the fuel injection setup. As the top goes down, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, but... Looks like it took off pretty quick. Going down fast. And she's down. Now we gotta walk around and uh well, well the windows down. Fairly smooth. go and let's roll this one down they're all smooth interior is nice the door shuts good let's try some stuff on the dash such as the wipers and the radio and the blower motor blower motor is cutting on radio that's an older radio older Kenwood it's not doing anything either I'm gonna go ahead and say that it needs some help. Wipers, they do work. Turn signals, left side is blinking, right side is also blinking. Showing 49,000 miles on the dash. And we need gas, so we'll be stopping to get some fuel. As far as the horn goes, did you place your bet? They got it hooked up and it's working. I'm gonna go ahead and roll up this window, attach y'all to it, and we'll take off down the road. See what else we can find. Okay guys, I am next door. I'm getting ready to take off down the road. Anything I see you'll know about it. We're gonna head up to the gas station, get a little fuel. Let's do it. It stops. Feels pretty good so far. A lot of traffic out here. Bit strong. 
wrong on fuel. Maybe it's just getting a little bit too much. I'm gonna pull in here, get about $20 worth of premium gas, and we'll check the gauge. It's closer to E right now, so let's see what happens. I'll be right back, guys. All right, got some fuel in this ride, about $20. Premium 93. Man, it's a great cruiser. Let's get on out of here. I bet the gas gauge works. I haven't tried it yet. But we're about to. Yeah, it's coming on up. Got some fuel now. Let's hit the road. Okay, so it's smelling really rich. We're getting a lot of fuel in this car. Uh, with that being said, I'm two foot in it right now because when I let off of it, that happens. And that's that, that's that fuel injection system. I had that happen in an older car of mine and I had to send it out to the shop to get programmed. Of course, I had to send it out to the shop to get programmed a couple times, especially with these built motors like this. Yeah, there it goes. We're gonna head on back to the lot, but it is doing that after it gets warmed up. Starts just kind of surging and dying. So that's gonna have to be fixed. A little bit of a battle getting your back because of that. Let's see here. See, just try to do it there. Let's see if it's doing it as we're driving though. Feels good going down the road, really. Come on, 
in traffic. <laughs> She rips, that's for sure. Lots of power. A little popping from the exhaust back there. I feel like it's just getting too much fuel. I mean, I could smell it sitting there. Right here's got a decent little bump in the middle of it. Woo! It's peppy. Here's the bump. And again, to keep that from happening, I'm two footing it, which means I hold the brakes and hold the gas a little bit and just kind of keep her in idle and neutral. But that is definitely an issue with this car. And we're getting ready to be back at the car lot, so stick around. I'm going to do picking out the flaws, which walks around the whole ride looking for rust, dents, scratches, chips, whatever I can find. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit subscribe and share. We try to be honest so you know what you're getting before you get here. We get a lot of cars in every week. Thanks, guys. Right. Gonna be walking around this ride. Probably the last one I'll get done today before I have to head home. We're gonna be walking around looking for dent scratches, rust chips, whatever. I mean, I can already tell you right now this car don't have too much going on when it comes to that department, but if it does, I'll let you know. Let's go ahead and get started up here in the front. So right off the rip, headlight bezels look like they've been changed out. On with your turn signals. Chrome on the front end looks awesome. Grill looks awesome. Good deal. Oh man, we do got some little chips here. On top too. Let's start on the lower portion here. Little scuff there in the corner on the on the edge of that chrome bumper. Tires in good shape. Wheels look great. Little bug mark there to come off. A scratch here. Dirt from the road. Back midsection. Chips on the edge. Little marks there. Chip. Chip there. Front windshield on this one's pretty clean. Trim around it also. Up top, this usually will start rusting. I don't see anything wrong with it. Oh, there's a little spot there in the corner, a little chip. Door handle, it's not brand new, but it looks good. Inside of that top there, we'll be putting the top up towards the end of the video here. Looking at the back end. Spring with the tag is in good shape. That that is also pretty clean. Down in your jams here. Got some chips there. Paint's chipping on the inside of it. Over here as well. It does have a convertible top boot I never put on. I bet that would have looked a lot better. It's okay though, it's there. 
in the trunk here. See where it's been painted there and a little bit of putty in the back here. Trunk lid looks gravy. Coming down with it. Want to make sure. I think the spring's good. There we go. Little spot here in the corner. Little crack here. This side as well. Coming down the driver's side. Tires in the back look great. Up and over. Back your midsection. Little paint run there on the door. spot there. I think that dirt will come off though. Mirror. A little hazy but it still looks good. Front windshield on this side is pretty clean. around this top here a little dry on the edge but the rest of the seals look good okay we're gonna go ahead and check out the interior so this is gonna be nice I like convertibles because look how easy it is to shoot the interior on these really get a good view of everything open the door it's nice nice door panel little cracks there in the corner spot there I don't get it dirty didn't I? As you can tell from the video, once I start the car, I give it, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds and it may idle down and shut off on me. But we'll go ahead and put the top up. So it's on now. Neutral. There we go. Let's put the top up. They need help lining up there. We're just barely off. See the hole? Jump out and try to help it. There it is. Well, it hasn't shut off yet. That one's in there too. Top has a rip in it right here.
Same with this side. There's guts hanging out of it. You know, I kind of wonder. So, mine was temperamental too when we had the Holly Sniper in it. I had a Chevelle. It was a 454. It wasn't a 383 setup, but it was a built motor, which is similar. Um, and it, when it got warm is when it would start doing the shutting off thing. Which, of course, I had mine tuned and it was fixed and all that. And this one, it's cooled down a little bit since we've been back. And it seems to be all right. I bet you once it reaches operating temperature again, maybe it'll start doing it. But right now, she's running smooth. It is, yeah. It's like once it warms up, it's not getting the exact amount of fuel or something. Them sniper setups are really cool, but they're still very new. And they're a lot more expensive to buy than a carburetor. I do appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we try to be as honest as we possibly can here. We do go through a lot of cars every single week, so you always see something new. Detail pictures, financing, and shipping all are at maplemotors.com. Don't forget to hit subscribe, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Later.